Oh my god, like I'm so nervous. Ready? Let's go. So as our first video ever on YouTube, we're today gonna check out a contemporary house north of Copenhagen. And I'm so excited to actually bring you there with us. You have reached your destination. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the first video ever on the Restless Living channel. Today we're checking out this house behind me. It's called the Raw House and it's designed by N plus P Architects who was assigned to actually originally make a remodel of the house, just a renovation. But because the owners were so ambitious, it was not really economically feasible. So they decided to tear down the whole existing house and then the only thing that was preserved was the basement and then they just used that as the foundation. But enough talk, let's just head inside and check it out. Let's go explore. That is an open space. Living room and kitchen in one. That's very Danish, I would say, the, the new contemporary way. This family consists of two adults and then four wild boys. So you can imagine the boys needs to be able to run around, play around. And as a bonus, when you're building something in concrete, it's robust enough to handle four wild boys. I'm not gonna kiss it, but you probably realize why this is called the raw house. An untreated concrete wall. Well, not just one, the whole house is built of untreated concrete, but because it is directly out from the molds, and when I'm saying molds, I'm not making, 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 I'm not talking about fungus. I'm talking about the concrete molds that it's built in, that it's constructed by. Everything, you know, the wall itself is basically telling a story. That's amazing. Kitchen. Some Italian. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's green and it's marble. These cabinets are actually created by handcrafted interior and everything is like integrated to complement both the oak and the green marble. You have like brass details. That is very rare that you see that in a Danish home. We usually like things very refined and so on, but you know, this is called the raw house. So of course there has to be like some interesting details that catch the eye. You want to see something really cool? <laughs> that is, that is something. Look what's here. Oh. Yes, the owners, they left this sword for us. They have this idea that, uh, that we should open a champagne. I've never done that before. Well, I've opened a champagne before, but I've not tried it with a sword. So who knows? Maybe we'll try that out later, but I think maybe it should be outside. I don't know. We'll see. Stage. Stage. No, not stage. <laughs> <Okay. one. laughs> I've been filming Just since, everything. since you came in. That's perfect. <laughs> 
So how about the ceiling? I think if you look at the ceiling, I think it's quite cool that they quite cool. I'm saying that too much. Have way, you, way, you? way too much, way too much. And I'm sorry, but that's just who I am. I say really cool all the time. But if you look at these ceilings, we can actually see that the oak continues. And that is basically to highlight this outdoor indoor living. Now it's pretty cold because it's Denmark during winter time. And you can have, if you look at here, the, um, the outdoor barbecue and so on. And then basically everything float inside and outside. So there's always this opportunity that you can just use the space both inside and outside during the, during the summer. But yeah, during the winter, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> and these doors are quite heavy. It got all moist <laughs> from the cold. Because the, yeah, the, the difference in temperature from inside to outside is like extraordinary. How about the sofa? I think in a house where the, the walls are concrete, the, the floor is concrete, it stands out as an interesting design element. Obviously, it's big, so you can, yeah, just lie here and... Oh. Okay, let's get upstairs, maybe? Imagine, blue sky, bit of sun. Maybe a book. It works. It it does something for how, sure. How did you come up there? Huh? How did you come up there? How I came up here? It was easy. It's just too. Master bedroom, again, you can see with oak elements that are just integrated into the walls. If you turn around, I have not noticed this at all. There's actually a flower wall. But again, you know, upstairs here, it is much more about, you know, the personal touch. So as there are, you know, concrete walls everywhere, it's actually nice that there are some really contrasting elements that shows a lot of personality and character. So the bathroom, no, bathroom, the bedroom has a door to a small balcony. Gosh, it's cold. Uh, remember again, this is Copenhagen, so normally you don't really have views because the buildings are much closer. It's nice, especially during summer, but of course during the winter, it's just, it's simply just too cold. Gosh, let's just get inside again. Oh, there's heat in the floor. So then when you when ah, no, no. <laughs> ah. Okay. That's actually interesting. I've never seen a shower head like this. Oh now I'm hitting myself. Gosh. Yeah, we'll just you know. Soft clothes. I love it. Do you know what this is? It's a laundry shaft. And I can see that there is like a tube going both upstairs and downstairs. Or maybe, no, like this is the down, this is the upstairs, right? Yeah, this is the upstairs. So it goes downstairs. Should we try? I'll just get your cap. Ah! <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> Let's try it. Well, let's go and check it out. Where it is? Where is it? Oh, it's here. Or no? Here, here, here. Look. That is amazing. I wish that I had that when I was a kid. Then I didn't have to go all the way out to the laundry room to put my stuff there. This is much more effective. Can I have my cap back? 
Oh yeah, sorry. It didn't work. The entertainment room. Couch, television, late movie nights, FIFA, just hanging out with your friends, that's, that's perfect. And I think, you know, normally you don't really want to spend a lot of time in a basement, but in this case, And now for the main event, champagne opening with a sword. Never tried it before in my life. I'm a little bit excited, but very, very anxious. Especially, you know, like if it explodes in my hands, then, uh, then it's not so good, I guess. Okay, well, champagne ready? Let's see. Let's get the sword. Beautiful. Are you ready? I don't know if I am, so let's just... Oof. Oh my god, like I'm so nervous. Oh! <laughs> well, it was not exactly... It's okay. I mean, it's first time, to be honest, so it opened. Let's drink. Cheers, mate. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please make sure to check out N plus P Architects and to subscribe to this channel. Maybe even like the video if you actually liked it. And stay tuned for our next video. See ya.